Now, fans want to know more about her husband and family following the birth of the couple's second child. Matthew Pierce Hansen is the husband of journalist Rebecca Jarvis and works as a finance professional, per People. According to the New York Times, he is a partner in the New York office of GSV Asset Management of Woodside, California, responsible for investing in high-growth technology companies. He and Rebecca have been married for over a decade, having tied the knot on January 28, 2012, at the McNamara Alumni Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. As the outlet reported, the pair met while studying at the University of Chicago. Rebecca said of her husband, I remember him as this guy's guy, always hanging out with a large group of friends and making them laugh. After graduating from college, they both started working in investment banking at Bank of America in Chicago and began dating in 2004. Matt said of Rebecca, She was the funniest girl I ever met. There was an enormous depth to her personality and character that she didn't reveal to a lot of people. I found that very appealing. Per the publication, Rebecca spoke of getting to know Matt through work, saying, By working so closely together for a year, I got to know him very well. I had already seen how well he treated other girls he dated before me, and I knew how genuine he was. Investment banking is a brutal business, but he always had the ability to do the comic relief thing to help relieve the stress, not just for me, but for other members of our group. So by the time he asked me out, I was able to see who he really was without him having to make a first impression. The couple got engaged in December 2010. Rebecca was born in Minneapolis on September 28, 1981. After working as an investment banker, she began her journalism career as a business reporter for CNBC in New York, as the New York Times reported. She now serves as the chief business, economics, and technology correspondent for ABC News and the host, managing editor and creator of the TV show, Real Biz with Rebecca Jarvis. Rebecca also hosts two podcasts, including The Dropout and No Limits with Rebecca Jarvis. Rebecca and Matt have two kids together, including a four-year-old daughter, Isabel, and a newborn son named Leo. As people reported, they welcomed their second child via surrogate in November 2023. Rebecca announced Leo's birth on the Wednesday, November 29 episode of Good Morning America. She said in a pre-taped segment, When I pictured our family, I always thought of my family, the family I grew up with, as one of two kids. My younger sister Lauren and I are incredibly close. We're 18 months apart. And so as I thought about my future, our future, I always envisioned that we would have two, that we'd be a family of four. Rebecca and Matt also opened up about their struggles with infertility and their experience with IVF per people, Matt said on GMA. Two years ago, we had just experienced another miscarriage in the IVF journey, and that catalyzed the search for another route. And so we had attempted to climb that mountain too many times unsuccessfully and determined that together we would try a different path. Rebecca added, I had just lost a pregnancy at five months, and we looked at our doctors and said, what do we do? This keeps happening, and there's no telling whether we can be successful, whether I can maintain a successful pregnancy. And our doctor said, surrogacy is your best path forward. That was hard to hear. She continued, one of the things that we talked a lot about beforehand was whether or not another person, that could we even ask another person to do something like that, to do that with their body. And it was really through the process of talking to a lot of people and then getting to know our angel, our surrogate, understanding that she considered this one of the greatest things she could do, one of the greatest gifts she could give the world. When we left New York to witness the birth, I couldn't get over how surreal the whole thing was. That and just feeling so happy, but also how strange it was that we were gonna get on an airplane, fly across the country, and God willing, come home with a baby boy. They later discussed the first magical moment when they saw Leo Matt said, I yelled, he's perfect. And then he was covered in all kinds of things and had the umbilical cord attached. The father of two added that he will never forget cutting Leo's umbilical cord with his wife.